Oh my God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Lamar Wilson. How you doing? Get to see Lamar Wilson here. Back to another video. And this video is brought to you by Cano. I have worked with them before. We have built uh, coding kits for kids and adults alike. And today, it don't matter if you a kid, if you adult, if you are an actual wizard, you... <laughs> I hope there's not actual wizards. Maybe I do hope that. This is a Harry Potter coding wand. Like what? Yes, this is a building yourself wand for people of all ages. It's gonna help you learn to code 70 plus step-by-step -step challenges. I think this is gonna be fun. One of the cool things that you're doing the coding, you flicking and swishing with the wand and that's how you're coding as you're going. I look like a conductor here, but. <laughs> This wand works at Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows. It lets you make serpent slither, toads transfigure, fires flow, feathers float, goblets duplicate, every flavor beans enlarge, and more. <laughs> okay, so as I open the box, you see there, Harry Potter. Ooh, okay, so in the box, right there you have everything you need. You have the coding wand tip, the coding wand handle. I'm gonna be really careful with this one. This is the coding wand brain. This is what makes everything work. There you go. That's the, it's bigger than my brain. <laughs> we have a little button here. And of course we have the batteries. It's tell you step by step how to build it. What I like about this, it really lays it out really easily for the user. It tells you what the components are, what they do, gives you a diagram. So you get familiar with what you're doing. And so it's a good education thing. And not only are you building this, but you're learning about some components that you never know where that can take you. All right, so picking up the piece called the brain, it's called a printed circuit board. And look closely at the parts. This has Bluetooth, by the way, that's how it's uh, working with the computer or the tablet. Turning this over, this is where the batteries go. Oh, wow, the, okay. The moment I put it in, the light came on right there. We're moving. Okay, next flip the PCB over and make sure the blue light is on. Yes, it is, it is flashing. Also in this thing, which is what makes the wand work, is a gyroscope that senses gravity going up and down. Accelerometer knows your speed and how fast you're flicking it. And a magnetometer to calculate the coding wand's direction. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. The next step is it says to grab the button, which is this little piece here, place it into the hole of the coding wand handle. So this is the handle part of the coding wand. And there's the button right there. We're gonna carefully place the PCB right into the handle. Go ahead and put that right in. Oh, nice. Get that satisfying little click too. Already you're able to see the lights flashing. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna grab the coding wand handle cover. And this is pretty self-explanatory. You go ahead and slide it in and that's it. When I'm waving the coding wand, the sensors are turning my movement into data. The PCB beams that data to the computer. And there's an option of using a lanyard, you know, just like a, a, a certain game controller from some years ago, you might want to have this on if you start flicking and stuff and it, you don't want this to go flying. And that's the lanyard. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put the wand on. You hear the music? What the? I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go ahead to Hogwarts School. We're going to go ahead and click on this star here. Color a potion. All right. It's like a conductor. I got the headphones on. I'm so sorry. So now we're going to make a cauldron. Change colors with the wave of your coding, uh, coding wand. So drag the wand, drag on the wand up block to your color space to run code every time you wave your coding wand upwards. Okay. So first we have to use the mouse to do this. And then once it's set up, use the wand to perform the action. So let's go ahead and drag this over here first. And we're, we're using the computer. Then we're gonna drag the object tent. We're gonna put it right there. Wait, right there. Nice. Change it to cauldron. Use a random color block to change the object. Okay, so ooh. So we're gonna move this random color block, connect it to this block right here. This is so cool. Nice. Now wave your coding one upwards and watch the cauldron change different colors. See the colors are changing. All right, one more. Cool. <laughs> Level three. I'm sorry. Uh, what? What? Uh, 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 uh. Color pygmy puffs. Okay. Use your coding wand to give the pygmy puffs a variety of different colors. All right. So we're gonna okay, we're gonna set the blocks up with our with our uh, computer, because there are a lot of pygmy posts. You can use a repeat block, which will run the code inside it ten times. Oh, use the repeat block, and we're gonna put it there. See, this is really interesting. Like this is how code works when you make programs or things. 
the block will change the color of an object. So we're going to drag this one here. This is okay. So we have the one when the wand moves up, you're going to repeat it 10 times, and then we're going to change all to random, like it's telling, and then use a random color block. Okay, we're going to take this random color block right here. We're going to move it right over there. All right, and then move the coding one upwards to watch the pick me pups change color. So let's see. Oh, snap. Look at that. Just by me moving the one. That is actually awesome. Presto Escapolis. <laughs> oh, I got a reward. Some more. Oh, I got a beer. <laughs> no, I, I know that's the, uh, oh my God. Y'all tell me in the comments. Because right now it's butter, butter beer. Yes, I got it. Oh, gee, I, I know some stuff. Let's go to uh, Quidditch pitch real quick. Since it looks like I might be able to do something here. Summon a broomstick. Oh, okay. In this challenge, you will use motion like that of uh, Accio. <laughs> oh, yeah, Accio. Accio Prisciminus. And to activate code so you can add a broom to the canvas. Okay, so there's the canvas on the right side. Uh, we're going to open the events tray. Drag this block into the code space. And then objects tray. This is such a great way to learn how to code. I like the plug and play thing, but you're actually learning precise things at the same time. Connect to this block. Okay, change owl to broomstick. Where is my broomstick? Okay, wait, there's a lot of them. Okay, broomstick one. Let's do that. Broomstick, okay. Uh, and then, oh, it tells me the movement. Okay, okay, so here we go. We're gonna hold it down here and, ah, uh, Casio! <laughs> That's not how you say it. <laughs> Ac acid, acid, acid Yes, I did it. I got three brooms. <laughs> I'm gonna save this and let's type it. Lamar's, oh, I can't spell my name. Lamar's uh, challenge. Save and that is safely stored in my profile. So if I go ahead and click my profile here, I didn't change the profile thing. I'm a cute little girl and I'm gonna keep it that way. And they also have an online community here at Kano World where they have, see, Lamar's challenge is already there on Kano World. Look at that. Oh, cause you know what? I'm kind of hungry right now. Let's do, what's giant beans? Flick the wand up and down to make beans big and small and make the LED change random colors. Okay, look up. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it also is on tablets. We were working on a Windows 10 machine, but check out this clip of this uh, girl using this on tablet. So isn't that cool? That is on iOS or Android starting today. Again, you can use Mac or Windows as well. I think it's really fun. Guys, thanks so much for watching, Kano. Thank you once again. Link below, guys, check it out. I think it's great for the whole family or the classroom or wherever you're watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.